Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Green Robot Gamer. We're going to take a look at the NVIDIA Shield tablet using two Shield controllers in popular emulators. First up, MAME. In some videos you may have seen MAME using two controllers, but they're both mapped to the same P1 control, which means you can't use two separate controllers with two of the same control schemes. So as you can see here, both of the Shield uh, controllers have been uh, paired up already and we're in the latest version of MAME for Droid. I'm going to go ahead and move the control stick here on what I call number one and you can see at the bottom detected NVIDIA Shield gamepad for player one. Now watch carefully as I choose the next one. I'll just move this. Detected NVIDIA gamepad as P2. So these are now recognized by MAME as two completely different controllers. So let's do this. Let's find something that uses, uh, let's go with the old stand by Mario Brothers. Well, you know what? I get in trouble when I record Nintendo stuff. So let me see if I can find something that's uh, two players at the same time. I was going to use Mario Brothers. Um, okay, Joust will work. All right, so let's go ahead and hit Joust. Standard MAME screens. All right. Make sure the volume's up, which it is. All right. So, pushing in the left stick, coin up, two players, start for two players. Now, if you know Joust, you know that player one flaps using the B button and player two flaps using the B button. They're both using a B button on separate controllers. Proof. Player two moved to the right. Player two moved to the right. Or player one moved to the right. I'll move them both, except for he just got whacked. Both to the right. And both to the left. And again, flap player two, flap player one. So there you go. Independent controls. Move this guy right and left with the analog stick. Move this guy right and left with the analog stick. D-pad. D-pad. All right. So there you go. The buttons all work independently controlled inside of main. Now let's take a look at another emulator. Next up we're going to take a look at FPSE, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator for Android. Uh, again, you can see both the controllers have already been synced up. Now the one thing I did do was uh, I did go in and change the key mappings for controller 2. So watch carefully. I will go into Gauntlet Legends. Now, I haven't set anything up. This is a raw install, okay? So I haven't optimized anything. Uh, all I did was load FPSE and go in and change the settings for the second controller. Skip if we can. All right. All right, so as you can see, player one is already ready to go. Player two hit the start button. There we go. Hard to do it at the right angle behind the camera here. And we will hit A to start. Now, we'll scroll this way. As you can see, it's only controlling one. And this way controls the other guy. Select, A, 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 A. Select, A, 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 A. So here we go, player two, as you can see it works completely independent of player one. Player one attack, A, player two attack, A. 
as you can see it works just fine so what did I have to do to set that up once the two controllers were detected I assigned this is pad 1 and pad 2 the next thing you have to do is go into your settings and your game pad go to uh, button mapping and then assign hardware keys for pad 2 and essentially it's going to say what's up what's down what's left what's right literally takes you just a minute or two and then of course it saves that so you're all good to go so there you go you can play two players two separate shield controllers right here in PlayStation emulation all right let's move on to the next one okay folks we're back again with our next emulator NES.EMU this is uh, I did have to do a little bit of setup it does detect the controllers but you do have to set up the start and select button to something other than the defaults uh, otherwise it won't use the ones that are built in again that's pretty simple all you need to do is go into the key gamepad setup find the two Nvidia controllers go to the controller you're looking for and uh, set the gamepad keys just go down to select and start and you can set them up to be the default controls that you would expect them to be on the shield uh, controllers otherwise everything is fine so let's um, take a peek here let's go ahead and we'll load up um, uh, recent game let's use NARC and NARC's a good two-player game and again the controls are already uh, all paired up and ready to go all right so player one player two I really prefer the main version <laughs> all right so here's player one and we can use the d-pad or the uh, analog stick to control him or we can use the d-pad they're both already pre-configured a shoots a missile I'm sorry uh, if you hold down a it does shooting and B does the missile which I'm now out of Let's see if I can keep him from getting killed press start on player two and there's player two in red as you can see actually I think these ones are backwards but you get the idea let's see here let's see a is shoot a is shoot. Okay, so you can see that they're using the same thing, so watch carefully. Red to the right, blue to the right. As you can see, they both work at the same time. Now, if you know about the .EMUs, they all use the same core, so if you're interested in MDEMU or um, uh, PCEngine.EMU, all of those all work on the exact same principle, and you set them all up the exact same way exactly what I wanted to do but that's fine so as you can see all the dot MU's work just fine let's move on to the next emulator all right for the last emulator let's look at SNES 9x EX plus there's a mouthful and this is actually technically a Robert Robert Broglia emulator and uh, it runs on the same types of cores as all the other dot EMU's however because it's not technically part of the dot EMU series I thought you'd like to see it work with two controllers so everything's already been pre-configured. I've done all the hard part of setting everything up. Let's go in and verify that this actually works with Mortal Kombat 2. I should be able to bypass this stuff with the start button. All right. Start player one. All right. As you can see, you can go either way we'll land him on Baraka and press start on player two bing full independent control and as you can see Baraka here a and scorpion here a Baraka here, Scorpion here, A, A, so just uh, see if I can get under the camera here, A, A. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this look at um, two shield controllers and how it can make your emulation life a lot more fun. Wireless plugged into the big TV, you can't go wrong. This is Shane Armandro, Green Robot Gamer. We'll see you next time.